I'm here to defend Nilufar Fuladi and all the brave women who've done topless protests over the years against the Islamic regime of Iran. Nilufar Fuladi recently did a topless protest in Amsterdam during an anti-government rally and she's faced huge amounts of attacks and criticism and lies against her as a result. What I want to say here is that topless protest, nude protest, is a political protest. It's an important protest, particularly when we're faced with a Islamic regime in Iran and an Islamic movement that has used women's hair and bodies for decades as tools for suppression. It's important as a challenge to that movement for women to be able to use their own bodies, their own hair, as a challenge and as a tool for women's liberation and for the liberation of society. If you don't like new protests, don't do it. But recognize this, that there are those of us that think at this time, within this context, during a women's revolution in Iran, nude protest is essential and it is a revolutionary act. For those of you who say topless activism, nude protest, what Nilufar Fuladi did helps the Islamic regime of Iran, I want to just say how sorry I feel for you that Islam in power has rotted your brains so much that you still have that view of women's bodies that is so despised that the regime itself has as well. This view that women's bodies are perverse, they're, dis they're to be despised, they're to be hidden, they're to be erased. It's that exact same view. And of course, we've had morality police in Iran imposing that view for more than 40 years. And we're trying to get rid of that morality police in Iran via the women's revolution. We don't now need an intellectual morality police, a human rights morality police, a feminist morality police coming and telling us that this is not the right time. This is the context is aiding the Islamic regime of Iran. Enough. Stop telling women what to do with their bodies. Long live topless protests, long live the women's revolution in Iran.